Hey everybody, it is August's Enchanted Crystal Box time! I'm excited to see what's in it! As usual, I didn't open it yet, I just cut the tape. And, ooh, the grid is super bright red. Let's see, so this is a note that you get every time it gives you some information on what's going on with Adam and his crew. And... You can reach out to him on Instagram, or you can email him at Adam at Enchanted Crystal. These guys are pretty awesome. They've always been super helpful with any questions. It looks like later on in the month here, they'll be attending um, some festivals in Oregon, and they'll be going to the Denver Gem and Mineral Show in September. So there's probably going to be some really cool new stuff that he'll be bringing back then. All right. This grid is really pretty and it's very similar to some of the other ones we've gotten before but that red is super vibrant and I like the arrows in this that is really neat again I'm not super big on sacred geometry you know I understand circles it's kind of a unity and a oneness um, I believe this is like an octagon with eight sides um, you know, if you guys know sacred geometry, help me out here. <laughs> it's one thing that um, I haven't had a chance to fully get into yet. So, but I do know a little bit here and there. I like the arrows though. I think that's really cool. I'm trying to flatten it out a bit so we can use it as our placemat. Again, everything comes in the crinkle paper. This is the fun part for me. It's, it's like an accordion. It's just way too fun to not play with. All right, everything's wrapped up really well. And, ooh, there's a Celestite in here, you guys. A Fluorite Wand. Scarlet Temple Lemurian, ooh, interesting. Okay, let's start with our minis like we usually do. This time we have Petalite, very common to get. Black Tourmaline. I am, I can't read that upside down to me. Brachiated Jasper, is that right? In a mini tangerine quartz. Do you guys know what that means? Am I even saying that right? <laughs> All right, let's get these guys out and see how they look. I mean, I can tell you the differences in them, but I sometimes pronouncing them is way beyond me. Okay, so this is going to be our petalite, these little guys right here. Can I get things to focus? It really focuses not up close. Okay, Jasper. This is the Jasper with all the reds in it. I'm sensing a theme here. That's really cool. They're very soft too, like really smooth. And then we have our tourmaline. Tourmaline's amazing for grounding. In my learning and working with crystal series, we did talk about tourmaline, so I can leave a link up in the corner for that. This one even has some quartz on it, which is really neat. And then we have, I'm guessing these are supposed to be the tangerine quartz. Um, to me, they kind of look a little more clear. I'm not seeing a whole lot of orangish color to them. So, but they're really nice. These are, like I said before, they're really good for gridding because you can use them to connect different pieces and corners together. Okay, let's move these guys over to this side. Some of them look like they're a little, like little pieces, like they might have broken a little bit, but that's okay. All right, Celestite. Let's get this guy open. Celestite we've gotten before, and it is blue. It's very pretty stone. And this one is gorgeous. It's very sparkly, and I like that it's open, like an open face one and not a geode. So you can kind of see a little bit better some of the side pieces are crumbling off a little bit they're you know crystals are fragile but that's really pretty you can see how it catches the light at pretty much every angle 
And celestite's good for connecting to, gotta guess, celestial energies. It's good for that throat chakra and communication, connecting to the um, spirit guides and just more celestial type energies. So I really have to bust into this Scarlet Temple Lemurian because it just sounds super fascinating. And I just really want to see what it looks like. All right, let me move this guy over here. So this is the Scarlet Temple Lemurian and it has this, It's it feels smooth, it doesn't feel rough or anything, but it has this almost like a coating on the outside that, um, I don't know how to describe it. I, it's like, it doesn't feel, it kind of feels a little bit like a grit or a dirt, but it also has kind of like a, a pattern in it as well. It's really neat. It's a good size stone too. I mean, I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but you know, I do have adult hands. <laughs> That's really pretty. Um, I've heard that like Lemurian uh, crystals are supposed to have information in them or something along those lines like there's programmed information in them but I've never sat with one long enough to um, find out or connect with it in that way so if you guys have let me know because that would be really cool to hear about this next one we're gonna do is a fluorite wand and fluorite's a beautiful stone usually it comes in like greens and purples and you can have yellows in it and it's it's great for helping um gently pull out like just negative energy or something that you're not wanting to really have in your auric field and i'm having issues opening it where's my knife knives are super helpful when unpacking all right a successful sound. <laughs> oh, this one is banded beautifully. It's gorgeous. I'm getting all stuck to tape. So the purple in this, you guys, is really rich. And the colors in it are just, they're gorgeous. And it's double terminated. So it's got the point at both ends. Fluorite is it's such a it's such a beautiful stone there's so much to see in it because the way all the colors mix there's just you get different inclusions and different types of patterns in there it's beautiful all right we got to make some more room here let's get our minis pushed off to the side okay um more black tourmaline It's a good grounding stone. Some of these are great size. You can wire wrap them in pendants and stuff and wear them. This is a nice, good size nugget of black tourmaline. And um, in my Learning and Working with Crystal series, I found out that black tourmaline is created when um, hot minerals in the earth, like, when, like the hot minerals in pockets of the earth start cooling. It creates these black tourmaline that's why sometimes you'll see like the quartz on them too which is really neat it's a it's a nice soft gentle grounding stone it's not something that is gonna weigh you down super heavy okay we have a, a few more to go aquamarine aquamarine is gonna be a beautiful color aqua is just a really neat color in general this is a stone I don't have a lot of, and so I'm not as familiar with the properties of it, but I know the colors of it are really soft blues usually, and now my knife isn't wanting to work for me. Do you ever have those days where it seems like you can work really hard at something, but the universe is just not wanting to work with you? <laughs> that is That is me opening up stuff today. I am challenged with this packaging at the moment the tape is taped on super well and i swear it's like stretching instead of snapping there we go 
Oh, wow. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Another little nugget. <laughs> a little nugget of aquamarine. And honestly, when I pick this up, you guys, I immediately feel a connection to my throat chakra, like, opening up. And um, that's... That's really neat. I It's like an instant connection. So I'm definitely, I can definitely see myself working with this one and possibly wrapping it up into a pendant to wear uh, as a necklace because I can already, just by holding it, I can already feel it. Next, we have Lapis Lazuli. Or do you guys say Lazuli? I'm interested to hear how people say it. I always thought it was Lazuli. I think lazuli is kind of a cool word, but we all say things differently, I guess, depending on where you're from. Even in the United States here, some accents are different depending on which states you live in and whatnot. So lapis is, I believe it's found in Afghanistan, I want to say, is the most common place for it. And they're really neat because they have these gold flecks in them. And it's like you get really, oh, there we go. You can see the gold in there. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Um, these always feel like a third eye type stone to me. Some people feel like they're like throat chakra, but I always feel like the third eye, that rich cobalty color to me definitely feels third eye. And then I'm probably going to screw up this name. Saladinite Quartz. Caladinite. Is that how you say this? Caladinite Quartz. Saladinite Quartz. Um, just looking at it, it looks like it's clear, like clear quartz is. And this one's a little bit easier to open. It seems like it's a little guy and it's probably fragile because it's wrapped up super duper duper well again with the knife pocket knives are always helpful when unpacking oh interesting maybe it's the shape of it because it's like it's it's I wish I could just make it stand up, but the the tallest quartz kind of pokes through the bottom. But it's got like a little friend. It's got a little buddy that attaches to it. That's so funny. It, you can't see it on that, <laughs> on that mat. But yeah, that's really cool. Do you guys know anything about this? Is it just the shape that makes the difference? It looks like there's some green in here. And I don't know if that's what you're, if that's what the name indicates. Um, you can see the green a little better right there. Don't focus on my other hand, focus on this. There we go. You can see the green a little bit more in it. Wow, this lighting makes me look a lot paler than I am. <laughs> I'm like looking ghostly. Um, but this is really pretty. I've never uh, seen this before either just this little shape of like kind of like a picket fence but then you have like this little guy off to the side very cool i'm always i'm always pleased with these boxes to be honest with you guys i it's gonna be like a positive every single time mainly because i love stones i i love crystals i work with them all the time and i don't know every single one of them so that's what kind of makes getting this enchanted crystal box fun is that you'll get common things but then you'll also get some really neat kind of different pieces and it's really fun to see kind of what is guided to you in the boxes because you know sometimes you'll really connect like with this aquamarine like I'm really feeling it <laughs> and you will get some common things like you know we've got we've received a lot of petalite and it's not a problem. These are awesome. These are a beautifully awesome stone. You, you can always just do an entire grid of petalite if you wanted to as well. The little minis that come with it are a lot of fun because then you can start working them in the grid differently. And it's, you know, it's a way to be creative and 
um, bring in different energies and working with the grids is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. So, you know, there's two different types they do. There's, this is the variety box that's 58 a month. And then they have, I believe it's like the crystal of the month club where um, if you sign up for that, everyone gets the same crystal, but then he gives you a nice write up about it. So there's a couple different options in the crystal of the month. I want to say is, I mean, I could be wrong. You'd have to go to enchantedcrystal.com to find out, but um, I want to say it's like 16 a month. So that's, you know, something that's also an option. Um, I, he didn't give me this box free. I do purchase this myself every single month because I love these stones and I love when I get different types of pieces and like, especially like this Lemurian that I've never even seen before, never even heard of. I mean, I've heard of Lemurian quartz, but this style specifically I have not heard of and you get some beautiful pieces and a lot of them are a really nice size and I totally think it's worth the money every month. And if you are a crystal lover like me, give it a shot. It's awesome. I would love to hear from you guys. And um, if you know or you want to share anything about these stones or any of your experiences with any of these types of stones, just let me know. Light and love, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.